creating your video with Windows Movie Maker. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is open up this program on my computer. Again, this any any type of movie maker that can make slideshows will work. But if you have a more recent version of Windows, you should have this program already on your computer. Um, just open it up. Mine looks like this. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to open up the pictures that we just made with Windows Paint, and we're going to put them one by one into here. So the first thing I need to do is get those pictures into this program. I'm going to do that by going under Import and select Pictures, and then a box is going to come up. I'm going to navigate to those pictures and select them. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see that these files now appear here, and you can see what they look like. I'm just going to go ahead and drop them one at a time down into here. The first one, the second one, and the third one. And my video, of course, is going to have more slides than that, but I just, you know, I'm just i showing you the example here. Once you have them there, then you're pretty much almost done. Uh, this is really easy. Of course, at this point, there are a lot of different things we can do. We can create transitions in between the two. We can select how long we want each one to be on the screen. Uh, many different options. You can see that the default here is five seconds. So, you know, you can feel free to play along with that. Again, this can be as complex or as easy as you want. The next step is going to be adding music. You don't have to have music, but I recommend it. It seems to be a standard these days. Another option would be that you could provide voice narration. If you have a microphone, you can use a simple audio program to create create that. Though of course you don't have to. Uh, I can tell you oftentimes I throw these videos together pretty quickly just because I'm looking for the backlinks and also you know some additional traffic and I don't mess around with the audio. I just go ahead and slap some music on there and you're ready to go. Of course you just can't take uh, your favorite Pearl Jam song and put it on here because that would be copyright infringement. You need to get songs that you have the rights to. Um, fortunately there are a lot of songs out there that are royalty free. Oftentimes you pay a small fee to be able to use that. If you go ahead and type in royalty free music to the search engines you'll find lots of different places. I picked up a package of stuff for I don't know 20 bucks and it's you know it's like 30 different songs you know some with guitar and some new age kind of stuff and it gives me a pretty wide variety of different music I can put into my videos of course you can also you know find specific things and pay for the license just for that song as well so once you have that then of course you go up to here to audio and same deal You're gonna navigate to it and pull into this window let me go ahead and do that Okay, this is a, a song that I own the rights to, Eventful Horizon. So I have opened this up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to drag it down here. And it all automatically put it in there as an audio file. Now, of course, you can see I have a problem here. This this file is about 30 seconds long, and the, the slide shows only 15 seconds. Now, in reality, I'm going to have lots more slides, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, if, I had, if the slides extended throughout here, I could just go ahead and add this again so the song will actually repeat. Or, if it's too short, I can just put that right there, go over here to split, and delete that, and now they match up. That's pretty much it. That's our slideshow. Again, you can add different kinds of things. I typically don't mess around with the transitions from slide to slide, just because it uh, that effect can kind of get lost when you encode it. When you have to keep in mind that... The video that you look at on your computer and what appears on YouTube, YouTube is going to downgrade the quality. If you ever watch something on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. So I wouldn't really worry too much about crazy special effects. I think they're a waste of time in my opinion. Though if you really want to go for that professional look, please feel free to. Um, once you have your video all set, it's time to encode it. To do that, all we have to do is go up here to Publish Movie, click on that, and that's about it. Of course there are some settings that you can play around with. I'm just using the default setting. It's going to create a video that is in uh, Windows Movie Video Player. Okay here, where do you want to publish your movie? I'm going to select on my computer and it's going to save under videos. And again it's going to be a WMV file and we have the option here if we want to compress it. I usually just let it be standard and I can tell you that a 30 second long movie is probably going to be uh, a meg and a half maybe. It, it's it's actually pretty small so uh, you don't have to worry about the size too much. Uh, again, you don't want to be uh, creating them super high quality because you have to keep in mind the quality is going to go down when you upload it to the video sites. So again, you can see here that this is in real time. It's making my movie. Obviously, if your movie is longer than mine, it's going to take longer, but it doesn't take too long. I'm going to hit finish and it's going to go ahead and play it. Okay, and here here it is, the movie. The You can't hear it but I can trust me and see how the music's there and it's going from slide to slide and again this is just a partial video but you get the idea 
Now that you've seen the free method, let me share with you a way that you can make videos that is more efficient, results in videos that look nicer, but it does cost some money.